بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ون نج میں ازا ہوا بائی دی اسٹار وین اٹ گوز ڈاؤن ماں بولا صاحب حکم اما گوا یور کمپینین دیٹ از محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ہیز ناٹ گون اسٹرے نور ہیز ہی ارڈ ڈونٹ تھنک ہی از کمیٹنگ سم مسٹیک وین ہی سیز آئی سا دی اینجل ڈونٹ تھنک ہی ہیز بین پوزس بائی سم ایول اسپرٹ نو نو وما یل تقوان الحوا اینڈ ہی ڈز ناٹ اسپیک آؤٹ آف ہز اون ڈیزائر ان ہوا اللہ یو ہا شورلی دس قرآن از نتھنگ بٹ اے ریولیشن ریویل ٹو ہم اللہ شدید القوا اینڈ ہی واز ٹاٹ بائی ون ہو ہیز ویری مائٹی پاور اینڈ دس از ڈینوٹنگ حضرت جبرائیل علیہ السلاۃ وسلام شدید القوا زو مرا He is strong and perfect. Tastawa. So he stood straight. Wa huwa bil ufuq al-a'la. And he was on the uppermost horizon. Summa dana. Then he drew near. Fatadalla. And hung down suspended. Fakana qaba qawsani ghadna. Then he was within two bows length or even nearer. فَأَوْحَا إِلَىٰ عَبْدِهِ مَا أَوْحَا Then he revealed to the servant of God what he revealed. These ayat are interpreted in many ways. But I agree with those who think this incident was when Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saw the angel Jibreel in his own original angelic form in the horizon. This is given in, you know, authentic ahadith. He was coming down from the Jabalul Noor, the Mount of Light. And there is the cave of Hira at the top of that mountain of light. He was coming down. So he heard someone say, Ya Muhammad. He saw there, right, left, front, back, nobody was there to be seen. So he had some fear. What is it? Then he walked a few steps more. Then there was again, Ya Muhammad. Again the same thing. He looked to the left or the right. Nobody to be seen. So his fear was increased. Then after a few steps again, Ya Muhammad. Now, suddenly his eyes rose into the horizon. And he saw Ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam. And he was in the full form of an angel. Otherwise, when Jibreel came to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the form of human beings, and Dehya Kalbi, Razi Allah ta'ala, who was one of the very beautiful, handsome companions of the Prophet, and usually, Jibreel came in the form of Dehya, Razi Allah ta'ala. But here is Jibreel, all the horizon was full of him. This, this angel, how can we say, and how he... Recognize it in Jibreel because when the first one he had come, he had seen him. But that was Bainan Nome Wal Yaksa. At that time, he was neither sleeping nor awake. In between the two conditions, semi sleeping condition, the first one he came. Itra Bismi Rabbika Lazi Khalaq, Khalaq Al Insana Min Alaq. When Jibreel hugged thrice Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he said, Ikra, and the reply was, I am not a Kari, I don't read. So he had been. So now he recognized. But then he was full of, you know, fear. The awe of Hazrat. But then Hazrat Jibrail came down. And his, his relation, his connection with the heaven was not broken. As if something, you know, hangs down. And then he sent the Vahi. And what was that Vahi? The first seven ayat. Of Surah Al-Muddassir. Ya ayyuhu al-Muddassir, Qum fa-anzir, wa rabbaka fa-kabbir, wa siyabaka fa-tahir, wa rujza fa-jur, wa la tamnun tas-taksir, wa li rabbika fa-sbir. So this is the shani nuzul of these ayat which appear in the beginning of Surah Al-Muddassir. Ma kadab al-fuadu mara. The heart didn't lie, belie that what he saw. Does it mean? 
Sometimes you see something, but you have doubt. But what I am seeing, is it okay? It is correct? Am I awake or I am seeing, seeing a dream? Aunt me be name Yara Bebedari Siyabe Khab. I am seeing it in actuality or in a dream. But whatever the eyes of Muhammad saw, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his heart confirmed, not belied it. Afatumamunahu ala ma yara. So, will you then dispute with him as to what he saw? Walakad ra'ahu nazlatan ukhra. And he had seen him once more. Jibreel, only twice Muhammad saw him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in his own original form of the angel. One was this, on the horizon, and the other was on the night of ascension, when Jibreel took him. But till the, this, the Siddhatul Muntaha, he was disguised. But at the Siddhatul Muntaha, he then was, he presented himself to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in his full angelic form. And that was the second time. When Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saw Jibreel Alayhi Salatu Wasallam as a full angel, in original form of an angel. And he had seen him once more also in the Siddhat al-Muntaha by the low tree of the utmost boundary. That is the actually boundary. Lahut, Nasut, you know. Beyond that, Jibreel couldn't go. So that was the boundary. This world of Amr and the world of creation. Is Yaksha Sidrata Mayas in the Hajan Natul Baba? Near that low tree, low tree, there is the garden of a mode. That is also very near. In the Hajan Natul Baba is Yaksha Sidrata Mayasha. When the low tree was surrounded by what was surrounding it, you can't understand and we can't explain in your language what was surrounding it, what was coming down on that tree. The Anwar, the lights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our language cannot express them. So, ma yaksha, is yaksha siddhata, ma yaksha. When you know that tree was covered by, by what, what, what was it covered by? Ma zaghal basar wa ma tagha. This ayah is very important. The eye swerved not, nor transgressed. What does it mean? If you try to look a very strong light directly, your eye will not be able to stand it. You will turn. It didn't happen with Muhammad sallallahu His eyes kept seeing. He had that capacity. But also there are limits. If you are in the presence of someone who is very big, very high, you don't lift your eyes more than a certain limit. So this was also there. The, the eyes of Muhammad Sallallahu did not cross the limits of Abdiya, Ma'atagha, neither transgressed the limits of Abdiya. He was Abd of Allah. Allah was the Lord of him. So, though both things, you know, neither the sight swerved nor it transgressed. And there is a very beautiful couplet of Iqbal. And I could understand this ayah only after reading that couplet. Aine visal mein mujhe hausla-e nazar na tha. Hausla-e nazar. The courage to see. Here, the opposite of this Iqbal is has put there. Aine visal mein mujhe hausla-e nazar na tha. When I was very close to my beloved, I didn't have the courage to see her, see her or him, whatever it is. Garche bahana ju rahi meri nigahe be adab. Although my, you know, sight was not muaddab and it tried to, you know, transgress. So I was trying to transgress, but I couldn't see. Aine visal mein mujhe hausla-e nazar na tha. 
گرچہ بہانہ جو رہی میری نگاہ بے ادب بٹ ہیئر ما زاغل بسر و ما تغا نائدر سائٹس ورلڈ ناٹ ٹرانسگریس دی لمٹ لقد رام ان آیات ربی کمرا ویریلی ہی سو دی بگیسٹ سائنز آف ہز لارڈ دا کنٹروورسی ویدر دی پروفٹ سو ہم اللہ اور ناٹ قرآن ردن کنفرم اٹ قرآن ردن سے محمد سو اللہ ہیئر آلسو گریٹسٹ سائنز آف ہز لارڈ دی گریٹسٹ سائنز آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ور دیئر ایٹ دیٹ جنکچر یو نو آف دس ورلڈ اینڈ دی ادر ورلڈ افر آئے تم اللہ تبلوزا نو دس واز ایکچولی اے ڈسکرپشن آف دی ہیونلی پارٹ آف می راج دی ایسینشن اٹ ہیڈ ٹو کمپوننٹس ون دس ورلڈلی فرام مسجد الحرام ایٹ مکہ ٹو مسجد الاقصا ایٹ جیروسلم دین فرام دیئر ایسینشن ٹو دی ہیونز سو دس از منشن ہیئر اینڈ دی فرسٹ از منشن ان دی بگننگ فرسٹ آیا آف سورت و بنی اسرائیل افر آئے تم اللہ تم الرزا ناؤ دی ڈیئیٹیز دیٹ دی ہیڈ کنکوکٹڈ ہیو یو ایور کنسیڈر دی لات اینڈ غزا و منات افسانس و تنخرا اینڈ دی منات دی ادر تھرڈ علکم الزکر و رہو الانسا ار فر یو میلز اینڈ فر ہم اللہ فی میلز تل کا ایزن قسمت الزیزا ناؤ دیس ایز ایوری انجس دیویجن ان یا اللہ اسماؤں سمائے تو موہان تو وہ آب آؤ کو دیز آر اونلی نیمز یو ہیو کنکوکٹڈ دیم یو اور یور فادرز ماند اللہ بہا من سلطان اللہ ہیز نوٹ ایٹ آل سیٹ ڈاؤن اینی اتھارٹی اور اینی پروف فر دیم ان یتبعون اللہ ظن دی آر اونلی کنجیکچرنگ دی آر فارونگ اونلی دی آر گیس اور کنجیکچرز وما تاول انفس And also, what their animal souls desire. وَلَقَدْ جَاهُمْ مِنْ رَبِّهُمُ الْحُودَى But now to them, the real guidance has come from their Lord. عَمْلِ الْإِنسَانِ مَا تَمَنَّا Shall man have whatever he wishes? فَلِلَّهِ الْآخِرَةُ وَالْأُولَى But in Allah's hands are the hereafter as well as the first, that is this life. This life is also in the, life, in the head of Allah. He gives to whomsoever he likes more, and he gives to whomsoever likes less. وَكَمْ مِمَلَكِمْ سُسَمَّابَاتِ لَا تُغْنِي شَفَاعَتُهُمْ شَيَعَ And how many angels are there in the heavens? Their intercession will not be of any avail whatsoever. إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ اَنْ يَعْضُنَ اللَّهُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَرْضَى Except that Allah gives leave to whomsoever He wishes and first whomsoever He is pleased with. Two conditions. Leave to the intercessor. Yes, you can say something. And about the person, about whom you are going to say, there is express permission needed. In the lazina la yuminuna bil akhira, where is those who don't believe in the hereafter? La yusammun al malayka ta tasmiyat al usa. They are Naming the angels with female names. وَمَا لَهُمْ بِهِ مِنْ عِلْمٍ They have no knowledge of it. إِنْ يَتَّمِعُونَ إِلَّا غَانْ They are following only their conjectures and nothing else. وَإِنَّ الزَّمْنَ لَا يَغْنِي مِنَ الْحَقِّ شَيْعَ And you this guessing and conjectures cannot avail you against truth. فَعَرِزْ أَمَّنْ تَوَى اللَّهِ So, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you turn your attention from those who are Arid Amman Tawalla, who are turning their backs towards you, Anzikrina, from our admonition, Walam Yurid Illal Hayat Al Dunya, and he doesn't desire anything except this world. Zalika Mablahu Minal Ilm. This is their attainment, final knowledge, final attainment. They can know only this world, not the hereafter. ذَلِكَ مَبْلَغُهُ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ إِنَّ رَبَّكَهُ عَالَمُ بِمَنْ ضَلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِهِ Verily your Lord knows better who has gone astray from his path وَهُوَ عَالَمُ بِمَنْ اِحْتَدَى And he knows better who is rightly guided. وَلِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ And verily to Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. 
so that he recompenses those who did wrong things, bad things, for what they did. And he should reward those who did good deeds with the fairest reward. Who are those who avoid the great sins and indecencies? Now this subject, I got it noted in Surah to Shura. الَّذِينَ يَجْتَنِبُونَ كَبَائِرَ الْإِسْمِ وَالْفَوَاحِشِ وَإِذَا مَا غَضِبُوا هُمْ يَغْفِرُونَ So this is a very important subject. And this is the third time it is appearing in the Quran. First of all it came in Surah Al-Nisa, then in Surah Al-Shura, and then third time here. Greater sins. You take care of greater sins. The smaller sins Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will pardon and excuse. But whosoever is very sensitive about very small things, generally we see that he is committing greater sins. He is involved in riba, interest, usually. But he is very sensitive about, you know, he has raised his hands or not. Where he has, he has, you know, folded his hands, here or there. About these things, they are very, very particular, very sensitive. Who avoid great sins and indecencies, except small offenses. In the Mafra, definitely your Lord has very vast forgiveness. He very well knew you, his Anshakum in Alam, when he was raising you from the earth. Also, when you were embryos in the wombs of your mothers. So do not hold yourself purified. Allah knows you. You were there. You were a drop of sperm. And then, you know, this fetus in the womb of the mother. He very well knows who is really God-fearing. So, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, have you considered whom who turned away? Mostly people think that this is the citation of an example of Walid bin Mughira. He was one of the big chiefs of Quraysh, a very wealthy person. He had many sons. <coughs> Khalid ibn Walid, Razi Allah, Saifun bin Suyufillah, he was son of Walid bin Mughira. Khalid bin Walid, Walid bin Mughira. He came to Islam very near, very near. He was just about to accept Islam. But then, you know, he thought of his position, that he will be boycotted in his society. His position won't remain the same. So this got him stuck and didn't accept openly. But he had reached very close. Have you considered the person who has turned back? And he leaned towards believing for a while, but then stopped. Does he have the knowledge of the unseen so that he sees it? Was he not informed of what was in the scriptures of Musa and the scriptures of Ibrahim, he who faithfully fulfilled Allah's commandments, and he passed all the tests that Allah asked him to pass through. Allah tazeru wazanatum vizra ukhra, that no burdened soul bears the burden of another. Wal laysa lil insan illa ma saa, and that there shall be for no man anything except that for which he makes effort. Wal nasayahu safayura. And that his effort shall soon be before him. It will be seen. Summa yajzahul jazaul alfa. Summa yajzahul jazaul alfa. And then he shall be recompensed and rewarded with a fullest recompense. Wanna ila rabbika al muntaha. And that the final end is unto your Lord. Your return is towards your Lord. Wanna hu hua azhaka wabka. And that it is he who makes someone laugh and someone weep. And that he is one who put to death 
and who keeps a life. Wanahu khalaqa zawjain, azzakara bolunsa. It is he who has created pairs, spouses, the male and the female. Min nutfatin, from the same sperm drop, iza tumna, when it is emitted out. Wan alayhi nashatan ukhra. And that on him it is the responsibility of another creation. It's due upon him. Because the reward of the people, that is due on him to be paid to the people. So, alayhin nashat al It is binding on him, so to say. Although we can't say anything is binding on Allah. But, kataba ala nafsi rahma na yajmanna ku ila yawmil qiyama. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bound himself by his mercy that he will definitely gather you on the day of judgment. Why? Those who suffered for my sake, if they are not rewarded, it means it's the biggest injustice. If there is no resurrection, if there is no life hereafter, those people who suffered for the sake of truth, who sacrificed, well, they go unrewarded. This is against justice. So it is must for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to create again. Wallahu huwa agna wa agna. And then it is He who enriches and bestows contentment. Wannahu wa rabbu shayra. And that He is the Lord of the star Sirius. Sirius was a star, star which the Arabs used to worship. Wannahu ahlaka adari lula. And that He destroyed the former Aad, was Samuda. And also the Samud, the nation of Samud, from Abqa. And he spared none. The common Nuh in common. And before them, the people of Nuh, in whom Kanu whom Allah Bawatuha, verily they were exceedingly evil and excessively inordinate. Well, Motafikata Ahwa, and those subverted townships, he overthrew them. The Sodom and Gomorrah. Fakashaha Magasha. After they were overturned, then they were covered with that which was with which they were covered. So, which of the graces of your Lord you will dispute and belie? This, that is Muhammad is also a warner from amongst the former warners which had been coming. Musa, Isa, Hud, Saleh, they were the warners. Azifatil Azifa. The near hour has come very near. None beside Allah can avert it. So do you wonder at this discourse of recital, this revelation of Quran? And you laugh and not weep. You should weep for what is in store for you. What chastisement? You will be you will be getting, and you are laughing. What does hakuna wala tabkun? And you are laughing and not weeping. Wantum sa medun, and you are just amusing yourselves, playing, mocking. Fast yudulillah abud was abudu. So prostrate before Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and worship Him and love Him and obey Him. This is ayah of sajda. So make a sajda.